Hey there, it's Pokemania Candy, back again for another episode of the Pokemon Crystal R Randomizer Wedlock. There we go. Wow, I blanked on that hard. And today we will encounter these ele three electrodes. These should be three different Pokemon and the three static encounters, so hopefully we can catch something good. Hopefully we can get another pair. Oh, we should get at least one pair out of these guys. Anyways, let's get started after... Oh, right. After quick team... Ah, no, you guys know the team. Tyrant, Kenya. Tyrant, the Pupitar. Kenya, the Victory Bell. Annoyed, the Arbok. Top percent the Radita. Thunderbird, the Zapdos. And Sniper, the Octillery. And I'm going to put Thunderbird out first. So we can get that para... That paralysis. Bring it on! A pincer! Oh god, they're only level 23. Why am I so over leveled? I thought there were 30. So we're gonna go sniper. At least I know if it has guillotine, it can't hurt me. Oof. Crud. No, no, no. Yes. Alright. I don't have very much to catch all these, these three Pokemon with, so... Hopefully I can at least get two of the three. Wiggle. 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 Yeah! Pinsir, was it caught? Pinsir, the stag beetle Pokemon. When the temperature drops at night, it sleeps on treetops or among roots where it is well hidden. I have no idea what I want to call it. It's female! Oh. I don't know, I was gonna call it Hercules. Oh, that doesn't make sense. It's because it's, um... Not a Hercules Beetle, it's... Heracross is the Hercules Beetle. Um... I don't know... Let's just call it Cali. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on to electrode number two. So, potential for Pinsir's partner is a Jigglypuff. The amazing Super Smash Bros. fighter. Oh god, it has rollout. I don't think there's anything I can do to weaken it. Okay, it missed. It missed. I don't think it's gonna survive. Should have just thrown a Pokeball at it. No, 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 no! Oh, it's dead! It lived! It lives! One, two, three. Yeah! Jigglypuff was caught! Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. It rolls its cute eyes as it sings a soothing lullaby. Its gentle song puts anyone who hears it to sleep. Yes. I have a nickname. I actually have a nickname for it. I use it. It's the same. It's the nickname I use for my, uh... Wigglytuff. Built Tough! <laughs> uh, I'm not funny. <laughs> so encounter number three is...
The Hypno. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's pretty... Hypno's pretty bulky, so I'm not thinking it can take up a... I sh wow! Okay, that took it a lot better than I thought it would. Okay. So anyways, I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying this. I Sorry, I've been really involved in these, uh, trying to catch these three Pokemon. And Hypno's gonna be the pain in the arse. I'm pretty sure Pinsir has a higher catch rate. Yeah, Hypno was cut. Electrode 3, okay. Hypnosis. Yeah, Hypno, the Hypnosis Pokemon. It, The longer it swings its pendulum, the longer the effects of it, the of its hypnosis last. Um, I have no idea. I can't... I think I called them... <sighs> I caught one in the... Squat creep. Whew. That odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank on the behalf of all Pokémon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. HMO6! But HMO6 is a little different. That's Whirlpool. Teaches it to a Pokemon to get it across water. But keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with a badge from Mahogany Town. Andy, the journey to become the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. I... I you would give up that easily. You have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. And we out this female dog. <laughs> All right, and time to take take on Price a lot sooner than I thought it would. Be. I was expecting this being a long episode again, and and I'm pretty sure we're on par, so I might just try and skip right to Price. And we are going to be using Sniper and Thunderbird, Thunderbird, so I don't want to, I don't want to train up more than I have to, so, so I think I'm going to do this. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Darn it! I know Price's secret. Hmm, is it that he's old? Cause that's not a secret. Uh, so Border Douglas would like to battle. Send out Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo. I'm terrible at imitating Pokemon cries. I just can't help it sometimes. Just trying to imagine like a Mega Pseudo Wudo. Hilarious. What would you do with it? I don't know. This deserves a mega though. It's a slow bro! No, not this again. No, 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 no. We have an electric Pokemon because of this. <laughs> and I already know what I'm oh god, I know what I'm naming this episode. And the question of the day, I already know what it is. Since we're in Price's gem, it's the ice type gem. What is your favorite ice type? I don't know what mine is. I think I gotta go with Mammoth Swine. I really like Avalog though. Coffee table looking thing. I don't know why I like Avalogs. Uh, no, I like Bergmite. I like Bergmite more than Avalog. Bergmite's just absolutely adorable. But of course. Yeah, um there's a lot of cool ice. Weavile. 
Sneasel. Lapras. No big fan of Dugong. Not a big fan of Dugong. Um, Articuno. Articuno's cool. I'm just naming all the ice types now. I just called Articuno cool, too. I'm so funny. Anyways, let's stick on the press. Pokemon experiences in their lives just like we do. I too have so seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily, except my glasses. I lost them last week. I brace the Winter Trainer shall demonstrate my power. The Winter Trainer? Is it like the Winter Soldier? Are related to Bucky Barnes? Who Price would like to battle? Golduck. Golduck. Oh, wow, we are... I am so overleveled. I don't blame you if, you, if everybody just stops watching the series because I'm overleveled. I forgot to heal. I don't blame you. This is just... Oh. I'm not training until I get to Claire. No grinding till Claire. Well, the next sections will be... Oh, it's the rocket tower. It's the rocket stuff. Spoilers if you've not played through Crystal. But we face off with Team Rocket next. Sent out a Voltorb. It's gonna explode. Sharp beak powered fly! Now it's gonna explode. No, it's easier to roll out. I did a lot. Yeah, oh. I know I'm naming this episode. And you, oh. You probably have already seen it by now, but I'm gonna name it The Price is Right. <laughs> or Price is Wrong. Wow, you just have... Oh, it's 31. Why did I think it was 33? I thought it would be at least be on par. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, I'll finish up Price. Price is wrong? Price is wrong. I am impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know we'll overcome life's obstacles. Like the stairs! You're worthy of this badge. Glacia badge! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is this the spiritual state of Pokemon? Oh, so let's see your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. Just don't use an Abella because it's crap. And this isn't good for me. I can't remember what it does. Oh, it's Mog Punch. That's right. Demonstrates the harshness of winter. Yes, because nothing says winter like being punched at high speed. You can learn it. Only top percent. Okay, I think I might hold on to it for a little bit. Let's get out of here. Alright, oh, this. Annie, Annie, are, are things going? Uh, uh, I called because something weird is, weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Annie, do you know anything about that? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, no, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. I, it has been so long since I did Professor Elms. I need to do these closer together just so I remember voices better. Two Pokemon sound. Oh, heal your Pokemon. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get to talk very much because I was too busy doing things and concentrating. And I know I'm supposed to talk through these because that's what Let's Players do, but... I'm sorry. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below. Remember and answer the question of the day. Yes. I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see me.
I'm still doing it. Anyways. And I'll just end it off here. As you know, folks, you're all awesome, and I'll see y'all next time.